Welcome. Today we're going to be doing an oil change with the Cub Cadet Lawn Tractor. This is the XT1 Enduro Series and it has the Kohler 7000 Series motor on it. Alright, so before we get started we want to get all of our supplies together. First you'll need motor oil. For this I chose the Synthetic Blend 5 weight 30 and the reason I chose 5 weight 30 is I use this lawn tractor for both summer and winter use. In the summertime it's a lawn mower and in the winter time I put a snowblower attachment on it and so I do often take it out when it is very cold outside. The next thing we're going to need is an oil filter because every time you change the oil you'll want to also change the filter. And so I chose a Fram. There's no product affiliation with this. Uh, it was just the oil filter that I had. And you can easily look up online which oil filters are compatible with this type of engine. The next thing you'll want if you want to save your garage floor is some type of uh, protection for the garage floor. So I just have a couple of pieces of cardboard. And then a way to collect the oil. So a drain pan like this works very well for it. And with the oil drain itself on this type of engine, it's very simple. There's a spigot right here that has a cap and then you can get an exact size uh, diameter tube to fit over that, but I just chose this one inch diameter tube, which allows me to get to the drain pan without creating a lot of mess. And the last thing we'll want is just somewhere to put the oil to bring it to the recycle center. So with that, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is place the cardboard down underneath. And then we'll lower the mower deck to hold that in place. Yep, so next thing we're going to do is just pull this out to allow drainage to occur a little easier. First thing we're going to do is twist this out and then pull it just very slightly. And that's going to start the oil draining. So one thing you don't want to do is pull this yellow piece out too far because you can actually pull it right off and then you'll create a mess as you drain. All right, with all the oil drained out of the engine, we're going to go ahead and close this valve out. You can just push it and rotate it and then put the cap back on. Next thing we're going to want to do is take off the old oil filter and replace it with the new oil filter. So for that, we're going to use this oil filter wrench. And that process is pretty simple. We just put the wrench on and give it a little turn until it loosens it. And from here, we can take it off by hand. We we'll want to drain the old oil from the oil filter right into the drain pan, just like that. Now, with the new filter in hand, we want to make sure that we uh, adequately lubricate the rings, moisten them. So just take a little bit of the old oil, rub it around the ring like this, and that should provide a nice tight seal. When placing the new filter on, we'll just hand tighten it so we don't over tighten it. And that should be good right there. The nice thing about the Fram oil filters is on the end, there are some grooves here which make gripping it a lot easier. Right now that we've got the oil filter installed, we can clean up the area before we continue. So just get a fresh paper towel, wipe this down really good. It's not totally necessary except that it will save some dirt from sticking and gumming up everything later on. So now for the last step, what we're going to do is put oil back into the unit. The capacity of this is somewhere between 1.7 and 2 quarts. So we're going to add in just under 2 quarts, take a quick measurement after it sits for a little bit, and then top it off until, it's, until it reads full. I want to verify before I put oil into it that the filter is on and has been tightened by hand and the valve has been closed and the valve cover is back in place. Now 
we'll just let this sit for about five minutes. We'll come back and, and check it out. All right, while we're waiting for the oil to settle, we're gonna go ahead and drain the oil into our pan. With that, we're gonna check the oil and see if we need to add any more. We're just at the bottom of the low line. So we're gonna add just a little bit more oil. It looks pretty good. Our level is right at the full mark. All right, and with that, we're all done with the oil change for this. It's time to start it up and uh, just make sure things flow through the engine well. Good.